married couples, many of you say, husband or wife, you say that I have been praying for my spouse. We are going through some troubled times and Toy, I've been praying for my husband. I've been praying for my wife. I've been praying for weeks, months. Some of you even say I've been fasting. I mean, you got some good prayers. You're like, Lord, help my husband. Help my wife. Meet them where they are. <laughs> yeah, bra -da 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 -da. I mean, you speaking in tongues. I mean, you going all the way in in your prayer time. However, when you come out, you cuss them out. <laughs> you throwing things. They ducking. You actually threw something at your spouse. Y'all fighting. Y'all arguing all the time. You're being revengeful but yet you are praying. <laughs> Let me just share a little something with you. <laughs> okay. You just canceled out the prayer. Okay. See, here's the thing, married couples. I need you to get this. You and God, when you go into prayer, you're partnering with God to get your marriage and your spouse to a place where you can get back to being satisfied. Your marriage can start growing and God can use you and your spouse for his purpose and his plan, right? That's what you're praying for. You're partnering with God, but yet you refuse to do your part. You refuse to walk in his word. You refuse to operate in righteousness and holiness. God said, let your light shine that others may see so that your spouse can see me on you. But instead you decide to do the opposite. But then you tell us that you've been praying as if that prayer is going to work all by itself. Listen, God requires you to walk in his word, to speak his word, to live in his word, not just pray, but to pray and to operate in righteousness and to let your light shine. But instead of your light shining, darkness has fallen on your behavior. Instead of being a light to your spouse, you are operating in darkness, which you're being nasty. You're being vindictive. You're calling names. You're cursing them out. You're fighting all the time. You're being revenge. And some of you, again, are throwing things. And you just want God to just do it. You just want God to do everything. You're just going to sit back and God's going to do it. We're going to sit back, let God do it. Sit back, let God. That ain't how it works, y'all. That, that's not how it works. God is expecting you, when you go into prayer, he says, listen, if you have ought with someone, if you have a problem with somebody and you're about to come in prayer, he says, stop right there. I want you to leave the prayer and go get the relationship right Forgive that person, get throw in the towel of peace, then come back to prayer, and then we can talk. God is not playing with us. He's not going to do anything that you're not willing to do. You don't, you're not willing to forgive, he's not willing to forgive. You're not willing to, to be patient and kind and generous and compassion and long suffering with your spouse, but you expect God to do it. That's not how it works, people. Listen, I want your marriage to be satisfied. I really do. I know you want your marriage to grow, but you guys are going, you're doing this all wrong. You are canceling out all that time that you have in prayer, all that time you spend in fasting and prayer and pushing plates away. You're wasting your time because you decide to come out of prayer and operate in your flesh. And instead of walking by faith, you walk by sight and you make this all about you. And, oh, he's not doing this for me. She's not doing that. And you don't know what they said to me and blah, blah, blah. God is, listen, y'all. If you want your marriage to work, you got to do your part. Husband, you got to love your wife as Christ loved the church. Okay. You got to forgive your spouse. You got to be patient. Long suffering, kindness, gentle. You got to do that. Wife, you got to submit to your husband. You got to serve him. You got to respect him. You got to honor him as the head of the household if you want your prayers to work. 
because you cancel out your whole hour or two hours or five weeks or months of praying and fasting when you decide. When you decide to do it your way, I thought as believers, we're trying to do it God's way. And if you want to do it God's way, I promise you it works, but it requires you to work it. So come on, y'all. Let's get to work. Let's get to work with being patient. Let's get to work with being kind. Let's get to work with forgiving and serving our spouses over ourselves. Let's get to doing what we expect God to do for us. Let's do it for our spouse so that you can have a satisfied marriage. Listen, y'all, I hope this was a blessing to you. And if it was, I want you to share this video and do me a favor. If you want to hear more videos about solving your marriage problem, I want you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Solving Your Marriage Problem, so that you can receive videos that will change your marriage for the good. My goal is that all marriages be satisfied. But listen, every problem has a solution, but the solution requires you. So let's get to sharing and transforming marriages all around the world. And you can help me by subscribing to this channel and sharing this with your family and friends. I thank you all for joining me. I'm your girl, Mrs. Toy Banks, the world's most satisfied wife, helping you solve your marriage problems. God bless.